Kalpana here in this video we are going to see a problem from mathematical induction. So let's get started. Problem. Using the principle of mathematical induction prove that 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 plus so on plus n into n plus 1 equals to 1 by 3 into n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 for all n belongs to natural numbers. Solution. We are given a statement and we are asked to prove that the statement is true for all n belongs to natural numbers using principle of mathematical induction. Okay. Let P of n be the given statement. Then P of n such that 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 plus so on plus n into n plus 1 equals to 1 by 3 into n into n plus 1 into n plus 2. Okay. So we are given sum of n terms, right? Consider or represent the first term by t1, second term by t2, third term by t3 and n term by tn. So you are having n term, n into n plus 1, right? If you put n equals to 1, you have to get the first term. Okay, the first term, when n equals to 2, you will get the second term. Likewise, when n equals to k, you will get the k term. And when n equals to k plus 1, you will get the k term. Now we'll show that the statement is true for n equals to 1 and we'll assume that the statement is true for some k which belongs to natural numbers and finally we'll show that the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1 using p of k. Okay, fine. When n equals to 1, In LHS, you will take only the first term since n equals to 1. So, 1 into 2 is 2. Now, coming to RHS, put n equals to 1. You will get 1 by 3 into 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 2. Which is equals to 1 by 3 into 2 into 2 plus 1 is 3. Till we get cancelled and this is equals to 2. So, here LHS equals to RHS. Therefore, LH is equals to RHS. From this we can say that the statement is true. P of n is true for n equals to 1. Sorry. For n equals to 2. 2 or 1. 1. Therefore, P of 1 is true. Now we can show for n equals to 2. Or we can check for n equals to 3. 2, 3. Let's check for n equals to 2. Take first two terms in LHS. The sum of first two terms from LHS. You'll get 1 into 2, 2 plus 2, 3 is a 6 equals to 8. Coming to RHS. For n equals to 2. 2 plus 1, 3 into 2 plus 2. 2 plus 1 into 2 plus 2. So this equals to 1 by 3 into 2 into 2 plus 1, 3 into 2 plus 2, 4. 3, 3 gets cancelled. 2, 4 is 8. So here LHS equals to RHS. Therefore, LHS equals to RHS. From this we can say that P of N is true. For N equals to 2. Therefore, P of 2 is True. Likewise, you can check for n equals to 3. Take first three terms. Then you'll get 2 plus 6 plus 3 fours are 12. 8 plus 12 equals to 20.
RHS put n equals to 3, this will get cancelled 3 plus 1, 4 into 3 plus 2, sorry, 3 plus 2 is 5, so this is equals to, for 5 is 20, so LHS equals to RHS, from this we can say that P of 3 is 2, right? Now assume that P of n is true for some k which belongs to natural numbers then P of k such that 1 into 2 sum of k terms. By simply replacing n by k, you will get the sum of k terms in LHS equals to 1 by 3 into k into k plus 1 into k plus 2. Okay. Since p of k is true, we will show that the given statement is true for k plus 1. Okay, now consider sum of k plus 1 terms, 1 into 2, one into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 plus 1 plus k into k plus 1 kth term plus k plus 1 term k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1 since we know that sum of k terms equals to 1 by 3 into k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 plus last term k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1 is k plus 2. Okay. So this is equals to, we can write this as k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 by 3. Okay. Plus last term as it is or second term as it is. So this equals to k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 plus 3 times k plus 1 into k plus 2 by 3. Now we can take 1 by 3 common, right? Or simply we'll take 1 by 3 out of the brackets. So this equals to 1 by 3 into k into k plus 1 into k plus 2. Plus 3 into k plus 1 into k plus 2. Okay. See so you are having k plus 1 in both the terms. So k plus 1 and k plus 2 in both the terms. Right. So let's take k plus 1 and k plus 2 out of the brackets. Simply we are taking common, okay, by 3 into k plus 3. So this is equals to 1 by 3 into k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3. So now we have to write everything in terms of, that is k in terms of k plus 1. You are having, for n equals to k plus 1, right, you are having 1 by 3 n into you need to write this in terms of k plus 1 and the last two terms in terms of k plus 1 I can say. So this equals to 1 by 3 into k plus 1 into split this 2 as 1 plus 1 and 3 as 1 plus 
Okay, now we can write this k plus 1 as a number. See now, everything is in k plus 1. Okay, so we got 1 by 3 into n into n plus 1 into n plus 2. Which means that this is RHS, RHS for n equals to k plus 1. Okay. Therefore, P of k plus 1 such that sum of k plus 1 terms equals to 1 by 3 into k plus 1 into k plus 1 that is n plus 1 into n plus 2 that is P of n is true for n equals to k plus 1. Therefore, P of k plus 1 is true whenever P of k is true. Does P of 1 is true and P of k plus 1 is true. Whenever P of k is true, therefore, By the principle of mathematical induction, the given statement that is P of N is true. For all, N belongs to natural numbers so this completes the problem hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye